Okay, there's another shop across the road, but you just got to try it. Hi, Mr. Israel, not the low felt. So good morning from a chilly memo. Um, we are quickly packing the bikes, but we had a little issue. So my bag, um, the straps broke. Okay. So this still goes on. There we go. This was supposed to be my bike. Yeah, it's on the bag. So. Um, and we are here, luckily we are here in a farm town, I got big stuff, but we now just need to see if it's actually going to fit. I think that's too big. Um, well, I can't get smaller because I measured with that thing, so I'm going to see if it fits. Let me just see if I can fit this through. Nope, well, it goes, fix it. Okay, there's another shop across the road, let me just go and try it. Just give me that little thing. I'm gonna try again. Right. Well, we can't get a fix for this now. So we're going to Jimmy rig it. We'll put this one back. It will help a little bit. And then uh, we'll see. We've got some spares and tools and stuff and cable ties and all sorts of things. I actually think this cable tie is stronger than this thing. So The only thing I think with the cable ties is that it will cut into the fabric of this stuff. Um, yeah, but I mean, I don't have... No, I know, but uh, what I mean is long term. Yeah, I know. I mean, this is now just a get me out of dodge situation, yeah? Yeah, so what broke is basically that little piece. I think it just got tired. Of course. But for now, it's a boormaker plan situation here. Yeah? They can pull against each other. Do you think we will be, it will be good enough to actually do gravel roads without it cutting the I, yeah, no, I, I shouldn't do it. Look, I mean, this, this material doesn't cut easily. And uh, I just need to keep it tight so it doesn't wiggle. I think two cable ties with this thing, which is now popping out. I think this should be fine. But my thing is because this is now sticking out, it means that the sharp part is in here and that might cut the uh, that thing. Might cut. But yeah, it's what we can do now. So maybe we should do mainly tall roads and just get there. What I think what we need to do is I'll look in the map now and I think we just need to do tall roads, get there and then fix the thing properly. Um, it's nothing spectacular, the gravel roads that we were going to do. So we're not missing out on much, but I think that this is um, a better priority to fix this. All right, well, we're going to pack and uh, yeah, then I'm just going to change the route and we're going to do tar roads. Oh, well. Well, my bag is uh, getting hauled together by cable ties. Well, first things first, now that we're leaving so late, we need, still need petrol. All right, you ready? Yep. Now quarter past 10. So yeah, we have a new route, which is about 207 kilometers. And now we just need to fill up. And then we can get to Ermelo. 
Werner. Yeah. Ja. Just keep your eyes on that guy. Thank you. What is the problem? I have no idea what you're saying. Hey, I'm not a Right. Good. Oh, good. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can uh, <laughs> suck in the belly. Hey, it's not fatness, it's muscle. <laughs> We are not riding the bikes today, we're sailing them. <laughs> I want the vehicle! <laughs> what? I want the cruiser! <laughs> Woohoo! Ah! Uh, yeah, our conversation today is not very... Well, there's so much wind noise, we can't really hear each other. Whee! Okay, I'm gonna stop somewhere and set my earplugs in. That's not a bad idea. There's an entrance there at the bottom. Because you're not really gonna talk much and film much anyway. And my ears are already hurting. Yeah. Don't let them fly away. Huh? Don't let your earbuds fly away. Huh? Hey. Mine is so dirty. <laughs> I don't think I can hear much anymore of you. Still very <laughs> weird. He looks like a drunk driver. Right, we're coming into Standerton now. And, uh, yeah. So we're almost there. Yeah, what house number? I can't. Audrey guest house, here we go. <clears throat> so we slept here last night in Hermelo and it is uh, pretty cold. The cold front has caught up to us and um, the bikes are packed. We're hitting the road again. Um, we're going to Nelspruit. Unfortunately, we have to do tar because we couldn't fix Kiss's bag here in Ermelo, but we'll fix it in Nelspruit. And um, 
yeah, it's a tar road, but it's going to go through some mountainous areas. So scenic wise, it should be nice. And um, yeah, but uh, we need to hit the road. So, so yeah, so let's go. We're going to turn left here. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be another very, very windy day. I can feel it already at this speed. Yeah, it's gonna be a windy day. But um, yeah, the more north we go, the better it's going to be. I really hope we're gonna have this wind behind us, sort of. Yeah, me too, but uh, we'll see. Ooh, these wind gusts are so strong. Yeah, this is ridiculous. This is actually dangerous. Yeah, I know. I'll just take it slow. Okay, you're gonna get there to a road up front there. I'll let you know, but we have to turn right. You sure about that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I think your GPS is taking us again into an interesting direction. Yeah. Can do a little bit of gravel. I see. It's gonna start becoming prettier now. Now we're heading straight towards the mountains. But look at that view! I know. <laughs> I almost want to say I missed this. I did miss this. I love the low felt. to where we left this morning around Ermelo. What's going on up front there? There's either an accident or they're blocking the road, but I don't think they blocked the road. I mean, other people can go past. I think there's an accident. There's no police and ambulance yet, so it must have just happened. You hit the curb here. A bit. Hush. Stop people already there. Don't help for us to stop. No, we can't do anything there. Look at this. Even in winter, it looks so pretty. Yeah, no, this area is beautiful. And you can feel it's not that cold. Hello. Yeah, it's actually so much warmer.
They just pull over here. They up on the gravel. <sighs> Oof, I'm so warm. Back in Elspeth. <laughs> we are back in Elspeth. Hello. Oh, it is so warm. I can't get over how warm it is. Twice. Nice. I love it. Two hey. days ago we said in minus three. That's crazy. Hey! Hey, pop up. Alright, so <laughs> we have arrived in Nelspruit and um, we actually decided that we're going to stay here for a while. So the Endurestan bags, we have uh, contacted Endurestan and we have asked them about our problem and they actually said they're going to send us new bags because they were still under warranty so that is very nice. So um, they don't have any suppliers here in South Africa so it needs to be sent from I think it's Switzerland um, and of course we also still need to wait for our licenses um, so we're gonna we decide we're gonna stay around here for a little while so we won't be uploading the videos it gives us some time to prep the bikes and prep everything um, for the bigger adventures for crossing borders and going to, and exploring new countries but it also gives me time to actually get better because I still feel a little bit off and um, yeah, it's just not that fun riding when you, are, when you don't have energy and you're coughing all the time and the dust is not working together with that. So, um, but with all of this, um, yeah, it's not that bad. So it gives us time, everything came into the right spot. So this is going to be the end of uh, season one, um, but yes, so we're going to prep for season two and for the bigger adventure. And those of you that has been with us from the start, thank you very much. Big thumbs up to you guys. And those of you that haven't seen all the episodes, enjoy them and watch them too while we are prepping for season two. And yeah, we'll see you guys when we go back.